Rock, report range status. Range green. T minus five, four, three, two, one. Go for main engine start. Zero and lift off. There's only one cargo ship designed to transport rockets for United Launch Alliance. And tonight, it's pulling into Port Canaveral with the robust flight hardware of an Atlas V. We're a high-tech vessel, high maneuverability. We have to be because uh, we get into some tight areas on shallow rivers. The Delta Mariner is unique. It has uh, two aft Z drives coupled by computer with the uh, bow thrusters that turns 360 degrees on demand. This crew has work to do. In less than four weeks, the rocket must be safely delivered, inspected, and assembled in order to successfully launch NOAA's highly advanced GOES-S weather satellite. I sense from the crew the pride being part of this mission. And when I put this vessel alongside the dock, it, it is a, a very accomplished feeling that we all have. The arrival of the Mariner is the start of operations for the flow of a rocket. Teams from ULA and NASA's Launch Services Program start by unchaining the Atlas V booster and Centaur components, wasting no time in developing a plan and getting organized for transport. We're gonna take the booster over to the ASOC. It's gonna be Convoy 1, to be the leader, followed by the booster. It's a very exciting day for the vehicle system engineers as we're offloading the um, launch vehicle that will carry the GOES-S satellite. Here comes the Centaur second stage, with its pressurized stainless steel tank as thin as a dime. Unable to support its own weight until fully fueled, it's carried off the ship by a specialized trailer. Next comes the Atlas V booster, all 106 feet of it. This booster and four solid rocket motors have one job, provide enough energy at liftoff for the entire launch vehicle and payload to overcome the pull of Earth's gravity. I never get tired of seeing the rockets come in. It's very exciting, especially on the Mariner. Now on land, a challenging cross-space transport lies ahead to the Atlas Space Flight Operations Center. Inside this multifunctional facility, crews will remove the protective coverings, inspect the hardware, and install the final flight components. For now, this mission remains a go, but the highly complex job of stacking the rocket is still to come.